Hello fellow nerdmaids and nerdmaids to be, my name is Faith, and today I will be showing you my entire mermaid tail collection. So if you guys have been following me for the last four years, you'll know that I have a problem. I'm addicted to getting fabric tails, or silicone tails, I have one right here. My tail count has rapidly increased in the last couple of years. I have about approximately 25 tails. I think that's my final count as of right now. I'll be showing you guys every single one of my tails. I'll be going into their history, where they're from. I'll leave a card right now to all my reviews, so if you're interested in any of those tails, feel free to peruse through the playlist and be like, oh my gosh, I want to know about this tail. I haven't reviewed every single one of them, but uh, we're working on it. So, without further ado, <laughs> Here we go. The reason I've delayed making this video is because it is gonna take so long, but so many of you guys have requested it. So let's get on into it! I'm filming this in my younger sister Jyra's room because this is the room in the house that has the most floor space. This is what's left of my first tail. This is Old Faithful from Fin Fun. It's a very special place in my heart. This is one of Fin Fun's sparkle tails that I purchased in 2014. It's 2018 now. This was the Ariel Green because I wanted to look like Ariel. It was the most expensive thing I'd ever bought online. It was about $150 after taxes and everything. And I've had this tail ever since. It has been repurposed, reused, used so much that it eventually just broke down. So uh, I memorialized it this way. I used the Fin Fun Model Fin Pro with it. And yeah, it's, uh, it's the one that started it all. I'm very thankful for this tail. It holds a special place in my heart. My next tail is this guy. This is the Magic Tail Aerial Style one. Very cute. I bought this one in late 2015 to go with uh, my Fin Fun Model Fin Pro. I wanted a bit of an upgrade and this was definitely an upgrade for me. It had like way more realistic scales. Um, it was tighter. It fit me better. This one actually fits me really well. It was the medium size. I love the dorsal fin on this. I mean it's not really a dorsal fin but there's kind of a little bit of shading on the back. I did a much better review of this one, and yeah, I absolutely adore it. This one's fairly retired. Fun fact about this tail is that fellow mermaid YouTuber, I think she goes by Unicorn Jessie J, she inspired me to get this tail because she was the one that told me that it would fit the monofin pro. And thus began my epic quest for finding mermaid tails that have cross-compatible monofins. Oh yeah, and the reason I call it Nerd Maid is because it's where I discovered my Mersona! We have the Sun Tails Lagoon Blue that I called True Blue. Oh, this tail has had a lot of love, as you can tell. Look how long and stretched out it is. So this is my third tail skin, obviously, uh, from Sun Tails. This one has seen some action. The reason this looks so, so beat up is because, well, I used it a lot. I purchased it in summer of 2016. I used this one again with my Monofin Pro as well. I also purchased the Mirage Monofin that um, I use with this tail and I really felt like I was leveling up, leveling up my mermaid game. This tail cost me about like $75 for the tail skin. I use this tail a lot to kind of lend out to some of my friends that are, that are maybe a little bit bigger than me because it's, uh, it's so stretched out so it fits a lot of different people. So yeah, I also repaired it using some of the fabric from Old Faithful. I made little fins. I love sun tails because they've got both realistic but also lesser known tail skins. You stand out when you wear sun tails because not many people have them. We have three tails that I all got at the same time from the two tails. It wasn't the first item that I'd ever received to review for free, but these were the first tails that I received to review. They hold a very special place in my heart. So. This one is the Catalina Aqua Sparkle from the Two Tails. They go for about $110. This one is real beat up. This is another one that I use to loan to people. So she's, she's an old one. I got this in about September of 2016. I filmed the unboxing video actually in this room when it was still kind of my room. I named this one Aqualina. And this is the one I reviewed on YouTube. Probably because it was like the most like me of the three tails that I got. But I don't think it's the nicest one that I got from the Two Tails, but I love her. This is the sister one of uh, Aquilina. This one I had someone named Regenta. So this, it has the same kind of shimmer pattern as the other ones from the Two Tails, which is really cool. I like this one. It's got tons of contrast. This is one I use for going to the beach just because it's a little more of a beat up tail, but it looks really pretty in natural waters. Now for my least favorite of the free three I got from the Two Tails. This one. This is a fin to feet tail liquid moon and they're like we'll give you one of our fin to feet ones and I was like awesome I'm gonna get a pair of mermaid leggings out of this. No. The problem with one size fits all fin to feet tails is that not everyone's pants 
fit the same way. Like you can fudge a one size fits all mermaid tail. You can't really fudge fin to feet. It's like really complicated to get on. It doesn't make much sense. It's not a very mermaidy pattern. Granted, it's really pretty and shiny. Just know. I think I've worn this tail, like this full thing, exactly once. Not much to say about this. Uh, I did name this one Lunar Mermaid Space Princess because that's what it felt like. It's like this crushed velvet, so it feels like really weird and uncomfortable on everything. So just thank you, the two tails. You tried. Okay, what are we at? We're at six tails now. Those were my first six tails. They're the ones that started it all. I started with three and then it doubled and then it escalated from there. I'm pretty sure this is the next one I received to review. I, re I received a bunch all in one go. This is the Planet Mermaid tail skin. Now this one, it's really pretty, but I just don't get much use out of this. Mostly because it's really small and the monofin is really small, but I did give the monofin to my younger sister. She uses it um, instead of the Fin Fun Junior monofin, which is awesome. This one came from the UK and this is the first one from an overseas company that I received to review. I love the color on this. It's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm not super keen on it. I don't know why. I just don't wear it much. Probably just because the fluke is so puny. If you want to see my review I get I did a review but this is a beater tail I give it to my little sister to wear from time to time I named this one starry night just because the colors and kind of the artsy look of it reminded me of Vincent van Gogh's starry night so that was tail number seven this one I believe is the eighth tail I received this was a gift a Christmas gift from Suntail Mermaid because they saw how much I love their stuff it was probably around this time I was really loving Suntail so I was wearing their stuff a lot on my Instagram and stuff this is one of my personal tails so this isn't one that I lend out I think the reason why is because it's just very aerial and I just love the aerialness. Throwing back to my first tail, I was like, yes, this is one that I can feel very aerial in. I think it's called the Siren Green. And yeah, I just love this. Uh, so I named this tail Laguana. And I think, fun fact, this is like the only one that I kind of think of as a boy tail. I don't know why, the rest of my tails are all girls, but this one's a guy tail. This is the Mermaid Cat Shop tail. This is the second tail, or the third tail I received from not in North America. So this one I received with the Hydra Monofin. Now if you guys watch my review, you know that I wasn't super keen on this tail, mostly just because I don't think that the whole like massive free diving monofin works with the spandex tail. It is very cute. It's a cute pattern. I really do like the scales of it. But this is more just kind of like an accessory to a monofin. If you're going free diving anyways, this wouldn't be bad to throw over top but it doesn't really suit with my style of mermaiding. This is the first tail I received with a side zipper, so I actually gave it to my sister to do a little um, a little mermaid Broadway thing so she could use it as a walking tail. So that was really cute. And this one I named Aurora because of the blue and the pink, like Sleeping Beauty or Aurora. So that's tail number nine. I tripled my tail count with three tails. Fin Fun number 10. Yeah, this one seems like a bit of a downgrade from all my other tails because it's a super basic one, but Fin Fun reached out to me. They're like, hey, you want to do some stuff with us? And I was like, yas, can I review Mermaidens? And they're like, yas. So this is the Fin Fun Mermaiden. This is the Jaya's Asian Magenta. Pretty basic tail skin, but I wanted a purple tail and I wanted to review one that I knew that most people had. This one has been around actually since I started mermaiding, I'm pretty sure. But it's super cute. I don't think I've personally worn this tail since I reviewed it, honestly. This is one of my beater ones. This one I named Jewel after my sister because she wears this one and her mermaid name is Jewel because her name in Arabic means Jewel. So that's kind of a fun fact about it. This one I wear with the Monofin Pro generally because you just gotta. Then tail 10 and a half is my Mahina. But this is just a big milestone. It definitely upped my mermaiding thing from wearing like basic fabric tails to wearing much better fabric tails. This I got sent from Mahina Mermaid. I'd been eyeballing this since like 2014 so I was really happy to have it. I've had this for almost two years now. This has seen some action. I definitely have used this one to death. Love it to death. I recommend it so much and a lot of people are like I got it based on your recommendation but it hurts. I'm just one of those lucky people that it doesn't like kill me to wear. But oh my gosh, I just love it. It's like worth the pain. It's worth kind of trying to modify it because it's just such an amazing monofin. And oftentimes I'll wear this like just by itself or with a wetsuit or with a pair of leggings. I just love this fin so much. And every time someone's like, I got the Mahina monofin because of you, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. This is one of my personal favorite tails. I think it's called the Venus tail from Magic Tail. And it's so pretty. 
I call her Rainburst. I just love it. It fits me well. It's pretty. I love rainbows. I think this is my first tail that had like a legit dorsal fin, so I was super pumped about that. This is my first tail skin that I got to fit the Mahina, so I was very pumped about that. So that's tail number 11, and I am officially running out of room on the floor. So we're gonna start doing them this way now. This guy, this is the Aqua Tail. Now, fun fact, Aqua Tails is out of business, so don't ask me where to buy these. This was my first underwear style tail. Now, this one is a really unique one. I named this one Crush after the turtle, and I got this with the Luna Monofin that I named Squirt. But the unique thing about this is that it's kind of like a sling. Now, there's only like really one other company that makes tail skins like this, and that is Mer Taylor for his fantasy fin. But this one I use both the Luna and the Mahina, and I've used a couple other fins, but generally I'll use the Mahina with it just because it looks real good. The nice thing about this is that it does have sparkles on it. I like the scale print, it's nice and big and chunky, kind of looks like turtle shells. This is like a beach tail for me for sure because it's very easy to take on and off and uh, roll up and everything, so, and I use it with my Mahina which is easy to dry off. We're gonna start doing these crosswise now. After Crush came the Virtuoso one. Ooh boy, look at this girl. This is Nebula. I named it after the character in Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is after a lot of collaboration with a couple other things in Virtual, so I finally got a tail from them. I got this summer of 2017, I think in July, and it's starting to deteriorate a little bit, but it's still just absolutely freaking gorgeous. It's just so fancy. This is like probably the fanciest tail I've gotten so far. I just freaking love it. It looks gorgeous in the water. I've worn it with a bunch of different monofins. This one's originally designed for the Fin Fun monofin, but she's a draggy gal. <laughs> but it's just so showy and flashy and beautiful and it's super unique. So that's what I really like about this one. This one is a very personal near and dear to my heart. It was the first one that has like my galaxy mermaid aesthetic. This one I got in August of 2017. I named this one Celestia. This is one that I actually paid for, so believe it or not. This is the first fin fun I've gotten in the kids extra large, or like the kids size 12, that actually fits. All the other ones I've gotten from fin fun have been too big. This is my first tail that had silicone on it. it, has the dip tail tips. This is one of my personal tails, obviously because it's Galaxy. I never let anyone else wear this. Not my best, but one of my favorite like casual tails. I just wear it like if I need something that's good for travel, if I want something I can just like throw on after work and just kind of swim around in and not have to worry about too, too much. This one's really cute. I just love the tail skin. Generally, I'll wear this with a Fin Fun Mono Fin or my Luna, and I love it. Next up is another Virtuoso tail. This is <laughs> a much more basic version of their tails, but this one's really fun. They had a few things that they wanted me to test out with it, so here we are. So this is it. It's very aerial. It's probably like one of the more costumey tails I own. I normally wear this one with the Mahina just because um, like most of my Virtuoso tails, it has a lot of drag, so I like the more power with it. Or you can wear this one with the Fin Fun Monofin Pro. I have a video swimming in this. I haven't reviewed this one. It's a good starter tail too, so if you're looking for kind of a, a shiny, homemade, more custom to your measurements tail, Virtuoso's cool. You can get them like this, and they're really pretty. And I named this one Seaweed Sparkle because the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. Ding! This bad boy! Oh yeah! This is my third galaxy tail. This is made by Mermaid Moongazer, a good old friend of mine, with my base cliffs. The back looks like garbage. I kind of continually upgrade and paint this one from time to time. This is my first like real like homemade tail that I've had a part in making. Like all the other tails that have been custom, which would be the Virtuoso ones, like for my galaxy one they just, I said, can you make a galaxy? And they said, okay, and I sent them my measurements. This is the first one that I've truly had a part in uh, designing and everything, so it's really fun. She doesn't actually make tails. She's like, nah, not about that fam. And I'm like, that's okay. So I got a tail out of this. I originally had it made to fit the Hydro monofin because that was the only big monofin I had. And this is also my first tail made at our neoprene, which is really cool. So it keeps me toasty and warm. Mermaid Moongazer also gifted me with a Finnis Tempo that I modified to fit inside this, so this tail is still a work in progress. I'm not a tail maker. I'm not a mermaid crafter, so I haven't done much with this since I got it, which was over a year ago. Bad faith, bad faith. Yes, fluke slap me. I don't care for my tails or I don't put time into projects because I'm busy editing videos for all you guys all the time. I named this one Moonbeam after Mermaid Moongazer and it's kind of got like, I don't know, I feel like it's a moonbeam. After Moonbeam, I kind of slowed down the mermaid tail thing. It was not a great mental health couple of months for me, so I kind of slowed down on the mermaid thing. But 
Continuing on, in 2018, I turned a new leaf. And we have makeup. This tail that I love so much. This was from Shop Vancouver Mermaid, Courtney Mermaid, who was one of my mermaid inspirations. If you haven't seen my review, this is probably the one that I would suggest watching review. It's the one I've given the highest score to. I styled it after the H2O tails. She's like, hey, do you want to review a tail for me when I start making mermaid tails? And I was like, shell yeah. So I gave her about $250. That was like half price just to cover cost of materials while she figured out how to make tails. And I loved it fun. This was my second official tail from the Mahina. Oh, I could go on and on and on and on and on about this tail. And it is a fan favorite, a fin fan favorite. You guys love this tail. I love it too. Um, first of all, it doesn't suck. It's good. It's not see-through. It doesn't stretch out. It hasn't faded. It's got a little bit of extra snazziness from a fabric tail, like these little tulip dots, so they're super sparkly. It has a dorsal fin, which I love. If I'm gonna go swimming, this is usually the first tail that I grab because it's not super hard to swim in. It doesn't take a lot of like extra preparation to swim in, so I'll grab it if I'm going swimming with friends, I'll grab it if I'm doing a meetup, I'll use it if I want to film a swimming video with somebody else because it's just people know me for this tail. Which is weird because I was always more on the cool colors. If you look at this pile right now, most of the tails are blues or greens or purples. Where There's a few kind of bright pink ones, but for the most part, I stuck with cool colors. And then I wore this one and I was like, holy moly, I look good. This is probably one of my favorite tails. I don't have a favorite tail, but it's just so lovely and I want to get another one. And if you're looking for a custom tail to fit a Mahina or a Luna or a Mermaid Linden adult, get one from Courtney. They are worth it. She designs them. I cannot recommend them enough. <sighs> so this tail, because I'm pretty sure in my video of my unboxing, I called this one 19 and 20. The other one, it's sister tail, is actually with my younger sister at college. This is the one from Abyss Mermaid. This one is named Seafoam, and the pink and blue one was Cotton Candy. They were a bit of a downgrade from the Shop Vancouver Mermaid one. I did a review on it. It's very cute. I love the colors. I love the sparkling, but... The monofin was garbage, it's not very comfortable to wear, but they're still good starter tails. It was a little bit see-through too, and I'm not super fond of the printed gems. It's a cute tail, it's a pretty princess tail, but it's not that great. It's, it's already started to deteriorate, even though I haven't worn it much, so not super keen on it, but it's still cute, and it's a nice one to add to my collection. This was the first tail I got, aside from my Moonbeam one that has Velcro on the bottom to close up the model fin, so that was kind of nifty. This one, Tail 21, another one from Suntails! Oh yeah! I wanted another blue one from Suntails, and I love this one. This is kind of another sort of dark galaxy one. This one is, I think, the deep sea blue. I kind of ruined it because I wanted to show that Suntails has a tutorial on how to put silicone at the end to make it look pretty. I didn't do a really great job, and I'm not very happy with the fact that I sort of ruined my tail by putting all this sticky silicone on the end. Like, you can do it, but it doesn't look that great. Okay, anywho, I love this one. It's super fun and dark. I love dark tails. It's like a night sky. I can't remember if I told you guys, but I named it Sapphire because it's like this dark gem sparkly one. It's kind of the end of my Suntails era because I'm like, okay, I think I've got enough Suntails. And this one I got in like March or April of this year. Now for tail 22. My second neoprene tail. This is from Mermaid Aqua, which is a tail maker. I thought it was China. I was incorrect. Pretty sure it's Australia. It's a very pretty, awesome, super hardcore tail that is reminiscent of a finfold fabric because of its construction, but it ain't great to swim in. Let's, that's just my mini review. But I do like it. I do have a name picked out for it. I won't reveal it yet because I will review it. I think I'll try and film that this week or something while I'm back at home in my studio. It's very cool and it's huge. Okay, we gotta fold the fluke in half so just it doesn't like overpower everything. Tail 22, I think. Um, or tail 23. I can't remember. Card full? Oh, frick. I ran out of memory on my card, but we're going back again. Okay, so I think this is tail number 23. Here she is. This is my tail from You Are A Mermaid. Yes, I only just posted my swimming video of it. 
even after five months of hamming it. So I haven't done the review yet, but look at her. She's so cute. I have my name picked out. A few of you guys have already suggested it, so I'll reveal that in my review. This is kind of a mixture of the Abyss Mermaid Tail and a Fin Fun. A Fin Fun because, well, it's Fin Fun shape. It also has dip silicone tips. It is got kind of a sheeny, shiny texture like a Fin Fun like little limited edition fin funds but it also is like the abyss mermaid because it's real wacky it's got like little pearls on it and this one's like way too long for me i discovered but it's not bad i haven't swam in this one a whole bunch because i've been away i've been on tour but here she is very pleasant very snazzy. This one is technically tail 25, but I'm putting it before the other one because obviously you guys know what the other one is. This is my third Virtuosa tail. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This has got all the works. It fits the Mahina. It's like actually made for the Mahina, so I'm super pumped about that. But yeah, look at it. It's so pretty. I've swam in it in a handful of times. It's got this little jam, which is part of my mermaid persona. It's a gorgeous bright pink color. It's like a tropical fish combined with the sunset. It has a, not one, but two dorsal fins. It's got one right here and one back here. Oh, I love it. Love it, I love it, love it. I've named this one Sunset Shimmer because it's sunsetty, it's shimmery, and I secretly may or may not like My Little Pony. I just have knowledge of My Little Pony and I thought this name was suiting. So yes. After years and years of you guys asking and asking and asking. Oh gosh. After carrying around fabric tails, this is a lot heavier. This is my silicone tail! This is Galaxy. I can't hold it all up in one go because it's really heavy. It's like 35 pounds. This is why I sometimes prefer fabric tails because this boy is heavy. Well, this girl, her name is Galaxy with a C, S-E-A at the end. But oh my gosh, Mermaid Amethia made my dreams come true. Now y'all can shut up about me getting a silicone tail. But then you guys are like, why have you not given up completely on fabric tails? Because I love fabric tails. I love fabric tails so much. This thing is humongous. It took me like an hour and a half to clean it last time I cleaned it. It has my finest wave monofin. No, you can't remove the monofin. That's not how silicone tails work. Can't really tell, but it is hollow and sparkly. You can kind of tell. It's got color shifting pigment. Blended with got the flute, which is the echo. Yes, and I put the base cliffs on it because yes. And probably one of my favorite parts of this whole tail, because I'm a sucker for them, is the dorsal fin. <laughs> Stay tuned for like a review slash hi, this is my tail. So I got this tail from Mermaid Amethia. I ordered it in March of this past year and I got it in July of this past year. And I love it so much. Like Courtney, she needed people to get her tails and say, oh, you can make tails. And for her to be like, yes. I can make tails for people other than myself. That's very common practice for a lot of tail makers, silicone tail makers or fabric tail makers. So if you're savvy enough, you can try and find people that are good at what they do, but need a little bit of help getting off the ground. And that's a lot of what I do. And so I got the silicone tail for an extremely low price for a silicone tail. I paid about $1,100 for it. No, that's not how much they go. Same as how Courtney's tails go, don't go for 200, they go for about 400. This would go for about 22, 2300. I just love this tail and I'm so thankful for it. And I don't think I'll be getting another silicone tail anytime soon because they big, they take up lots of space. But yeah, that is the end of these. Tail 25. So let me show you guys what I've got going on here. So this is the mess that it has been made on my floor or my sister's floor of all my mermaid tails. This is what they look like when they're not on my wall. <laughs> There's so many of them. I do like a big old photo and stuff with my GoPro above. Four years worth of mermaid tails. I don't have a problem. Okay, well, thank you so, so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. It was a lot of work to put together, but this is like the 2018 version of this. I'll probably make a monofin video too, um, but I don't know, maybe sometime next year I'll make an update on new tails I've gotten, new swimsuits I've gotten, new accessories I've gotten, because the collection keeps growing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everyone has happy holidays and all that. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I hope you guys are all doing great. If you guys have been following me, comment on which tail was like kind of when you started following me, whether it be on Instagram, on YouTube. It'll be a nice like mile marker of like how long you guys have been around. If it was like my fin fun review or my silicone tail, let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Without you, 
this wouldn't have been possible. I kid you not, without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you so much for watching the reviews, buying the mermaid tails that I recommend, supporting my Patreon when I had that. I love you guys so much. I love mermaiding. This is great. And no, I'm not giving away any of them. They're all my babies. <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye! Tails, it's like your green flukes, I like it. <laughs>